Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, sample size for population proportion. So I'll share my screen with you. A, a cell phone company wants to find out the percentage of 50 plus people, that is 50 age plus people, who use cell phone for texting purposes. How many people should this company survey if it wants to wants the sample proportion to be within 3% of the actual population proportion with 90% confidence, okay? So <clears throat> we have... Solution. Use sample size formula. for population proportion. And that formula is N is equal to P hat one, uh, which is sorry, it's not P hat. Uh, so take care of that. N is P times one minus P over Z alpha by two divided by N whole thing. I'm sorry, divided by so this is okay. Z divided by Square. So now I will explain that uh, n is your sample size, p is your population proportion, proportion, z alpha by 2 is critical value of z, critical value of z. And N, uh, sorry, E is margin of error. Margin of error, which is actually P hat minus P. P hat is sample proportion. Okay. So our C level, C is the confidence level. Confidence level is 0 0.9. And that is equal to, so alpha is significance level. Is complement of confidence interval is one minus C is 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1. So if I draw the picture here, at the center, z is equal to 0. This is the standard normal curve. Normal curve. Okay, so a C level is point. Uh, let me draw this in better. So where is this? So let's make it this. Well, this maybe. Yeah. And then this will connect this. So this area is. 
equal to C equal to 0 0.9 from here to here. So what is left in the tails? So area in two tails because the total area under the standard normal curve is one area in two tails is equal to one minus c equal to alpha equal to we have already calculated that as 0 0.1 so because of symmetry means the left half is equal to the right half in the standard normal curve. Standard normal curve. Area in each tail is equal to alpha by two is equal to 0 0.1 divided by two. So area in each tail, alpha by two, is alpha by two, is equal to 0 0.05. So let's draw the picture here. So if I draw this, so this area is alpha by two is 0 0.05. And this area is also alpha by two is 0 0.05, okay? Now we need to find this critical value of Z, this one and this one over here, Z alpha by two. Notice the minus Z alpha by two means the point such that the area on the left of it in the left tail is 0 0.05 and z alpha by 2 is the boundary so that the area to the right of it is 0 0.05. Uh, it's called a critical value because it separates the central confident region from the two tails. Okay, so now we will use the second verse. We press the second key, then the verse key, then scroll down to number three which is in norm okay and our area in each tail is 0 0.05 mu is zero sigma is one because it's a standard normal curve we paste enter and enter put the cursor on paste and enter and enter and minus z alpha by two will be equal to so second verse, then three in norm, area is 0 0.05, mu is zero, so area in each tail is 0 0.05, that's why I type 0 0.05 for area, mu is zero, because it's a standard normal curve, sigma is one, best enter and enter, and this is minus z alpha by two is equal to minus 1.645. So because of symmetry, positive z alpha by two will be the same value without the negative sign. This is the z alpha by two that we will plug in the equation. So let me create some space for myself. Okay. okay. So n, Okay, so before we I use this formula, notice to use the formula for n need an estimate of population proportion, estimate of P, but that is not given. When P is not given, Assume P is equal to 0 0.5. So this is the situation in this case. Okay, so creating a little bit more space. 
So also notice we have been given the margin of error such that the sample proportion is within three percentage point of the pop sorry with the population proportion. So I should uh, change p at minus p. Okay. And that is given as three percentage point in decimal that is 0 0.03. Okay. Now we can plug it in. Okay. So this is E, this is the margin of error, error, uh, margin of error, margin of error. Some books call it error bound margin, same thing. Some books call it error bound margin, error bound margin. Basically, it's a difference between the sample proportion, P hat, and the population proportion. So, plugging in it in since we do not know p assume p is 0. 0.5 times 1 minus 0. 0.5 parenthesis g alpha by 2 is 1.645 divided by margin of error is 0. 0.03 and square so this will be equal to 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5 and then you can put a left parenthesis 1.645, then divided by 0 0.03, right parenthesis, then press the x square button, which puts the exponent two on top of the parenthesis, and then hit enter. Okay, so, and we always round it up to the next uh, highest number, next higher number, 0.5, multiplied by 0 0.5, then after 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, you do not have to put another multiplied by, you can just put the left parenthesis, 1.645 divided by 0 0.03, close the right parenthesis, do not forget to do that. Then we have to square it, so press the X square button, which is in the first column halfway down. This puts the exponent two on top of the parenthesis and hit enter. So you do not say 751.67, you just round it out. So the minimum sample size necessary is 752. This is the minimum sample size necessary. Necessary. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I appreciate that. And um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And please let your friends know about this video. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.